Okay, so uh, it's been a minute since we last heard anything solid about the Phoenix 8 Micro LED, right? A lot of people were hoping it'd show up by mid-2025, but here we are. Not much in terms of new leaks. Um, so think of this as a little memory refresher. We're gonna go over what we do know and where things might be heading. If you're curious, stick around, let's get into it. So quick rewind, the whole Phoenix 8 micro LED thing first popped up in the Garmin Connect app back in late 2024. That was the first clue that Garmin was cooking something up. But here's the thing, many believe this isn't just a Phoenix 8 variant, it might actually end up being part of the next generation, possibly the Phoenix 9, which would mean a launch sometime around mid-2026. Although, to be fair, earlier rumors did hint at late 2025. So yeah, it's still kinda up in the air. Now why all the delays? Um, Micro LED is some seriously impressive tech. Um, Samsung even showed off a 4000 nit Micro LED smartwatch display at CES 2025, but it's not exactly easy to make. The process involves placing millions of microscopic LEDs onto a screen substrate with insane precision. Sounds cool, but right now the yields are super low, like 10% in some cases. That means tons of waste and sky-high production costs. Which brings us to price, yeah, this thing probably won't come cheap. Leaks suggest it could be at least $200 more than the standard Phoenix 8. So we're talking somewhere between $1,200 and $1,400, depending on the size and whatever features they pack in. Definitely a premium niche option, not your average upgrade. And speaking of the regular Phoenix 8 that dropped in August 2024, it was a solid step up from the Phoenix 7 series um, with upgrades like an AMOLED display, speaker and mic, plus a smoother and more responsive user interface. You also got diving support, a built-in voice assistant, the works. Um, but the micro LED version, that would be a real leap forward, mainly because of the display tech. Um, micro LED, if you're wondering, has some big advantages over OLED, lower power consumption, better color accuracy, a longer lifespan, and basically no risk of burn-in. But aside from the display, we don't have many details on what else Garmin might be changing under the hood. Oh, and LTE? Yeah, nothing confirmed there either. Most people think Garmin wouldn't roll out both micro LED and full LTE in the same version. Just too much complexity and cost to juggle in one go. Makes sense. Anyway, that's where things stand for now. Uh, not a lot of new info, but hopefully that helped jog your memory. If anything else leaks, you know, we'll be back to talk about it. Catch you in the next one. Peace!